On the edge of BC's Sea to Sky Highway, there's no escaping this mammoth building wedged into a mountain. There's a lot of history here, 100 years of it. This giant space was once the largest copper mine in the British Empire, and we're about to see some very unique spaces. Hundreds of steep stairs lead to different floors, and these giant machines would crush up the mined ore with copper inside. So you can imagine the noise that was inside that thing. It'd be just like a big drum. Marshall started at the mine when he was 18, working underground in a mountain riddled with tunnels and later as a safety officer. Lots of heavy manual labor. For many, mining was a labor of love, literally. I met my wife here. She, uh, she was a receptionist in the office. The mill was a key part of the mine and industrial revolution. As copper was becoming in high demand for bringing power to all these different machines and things around the world. And with the mill wedged into a cliff, gravity did its part, moving the mined ore down each floor of the mill and machines roared. By the end of the processes here, we have a high concentrate of copper rich powders, which can then be sent off to our smelters. But everything shut down 50 years ago when copper prices dropped, leaving an empty town behind an environmental disaster in its wake. Acid rock runoff impacted Howe Sound for decades. But this place was more than copper. Workers lived primarily in two company towns, the Britannia Beach site next to the mill, and Mount Cheer, where all the underground workers lived up on the mountain. People fell in love, had kids, went to school, played sports in the communities. Around 60,000 people from 50 countries worked at the mine over its life. Yip Bing was one of them, arriving in around 1913. He worked at the general store and also made Chinese food for the miners. The community eventually named him Dr. YB because his special herbal soup helped heal miners when they were sick. He delivered it uh, on a big wagon to different houses to feed people. At the time, Chinese workers didn't have the same rights as other workers because of discriminatory government laws, so their jobs were often limited to cooks or working above ground. To find out how special, um, or what his legacy, that he left at Britannia Beach, that was pretty emotional for us. Decades later, this mill still stands, a reminder of a once thriving hub. The new exhibit commenting its history and impact will run until late next year. Beneath Breach, CBC News, Britannia.